Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I'm going to show you how to install or move a program to the D drive or a different drive other than the C drive in Windows. Uh, now there have been a few ways to do this in the past but there's a new way to do it now with a newer installer. The old way to do it was you usually the program would give you a choice on selecting the drive to install it to and so you would change the drive from C to D or whatever drive you wanted to. The other way on some programs to do it was some of them had a special switch so you would have to run a command line with the name of the install program and a switch that specified uh, which drive to install it to and that's particular to whatever program it might be. But today I really want to talk about um, the newer Windows installers or some of the newer installations, uh, there's another way to do it. It's sometimes it will not give you the choice and there may not be a switch to select the drive when you're installing it. But you can, uh, on some newer programs, actually move the uh, program from the C drive to the D drive or whatever drive you want. So I'm going to give you an example of this to show you how it works real quick. So the first thing we need to do is go to the settings uh, window and the way we get to that is we go down here and select settings and it brings this window up. Uh, and so then we're going to go to apps and then we're going to select apps and features. It takes a minute to load all of the apps down. I have a lot of apps loaded on here. Uh, so it takes a while to load the apps depending on how many you have. So I'm going to select, go down here and select a program that has this feature on it. This is a newer version of Affinity Publisher, uh, but other programs will have this as well. If we go to the older version of Affinity Publisher, you see we only have modify and uninstall as options. So if those are the only two options you have, this won't work with the program. But on the newer version, they're using a newer installer. Uh, and so if you have a program like this, you will get advanced options move and uninstall and so we're going to go to move and move says it's currently installed on uh, windows uh, c drive and it, it says uh, select your drive to, to move this app to it has uh, deselected here uh, and if you had more drives you would have different choices there as well so you could choose even another drive other than D. So what we're going to do now is now that we have the new drive selected, we're just going to click move. And it's going to take a few minutes, uh, but there's a, a line down here, as you can see, it's starting to move across. And once that line gets all the way to the other side, the move will be done. So it could take a few minutes, depending on how large the program is and how many files it has to move. So now it's already moved it, and the way that we can quickly verify that it's been moved is to click on these three dots over here again and uh, go back to move. And you can see the app is currently installed in drive D and uh, uh, select a drive to move to, so we can move it back to see if we wanted to. So it, it automatically defaults to the other drive. There are only two drives that it can install to on this machine. Uh, so that's how you know that it's moved. You can also check to see if the the uh, space on the C drive and the D drive, the amount of space it's taken up has changed. Uh, you may also want to run the program after you do this just to make sure it moved it correctly and everything's working and there's no problems with it. Uh, but that's the way you can uh, move a uh, program to the D drive if it won't let you install it to it, if it's a newer program. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.